Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement on this evening where we are catching up with Lucifer season three, episode six, and we just had the return of Charlotte Richards, AKA mum adjacent. <laughs> A lot of y'all were very excited that we saw Charlotte back and what, what could it mean going forward? What I found interesting was that she went to hell. Charlotte went to hell. Now, did she stay in hell? So the whole time the goddess was doing the goddess thing in her body was Charlotte down in hell, experiencing hell. She said she was seeing something over and over again. She was reliving something. Will we ever find out what that is? And those of you who've seen the show, don't tell me. That is my thought at this moment in time. But the scene when she is confronting all the people from the pudding escapade, pudding, and she's just like, people, I'm trying to clear my ledger and you are holding me back. And she was just brilliant. It was brilliant. So when and where will she pop up again? <laughs> and still no sign of the center man. Yay. Okay, fine. At this point, whatevs as my cousin would say but i'm excited to get to it and i'm so glad that you are all here with me as well so if you have not already uh hit subscribe please thank you so very much also i do have full episode watch along is available on patreon where i would love to see you you sync up with me we watch together we have a strawberry sparkling lemonade because it's for me middle of the week and a little early for rum it is a little early for rum for me Tell me what you're drinking. Some of you are drinking some very interesting things and some of you aren't drinking at all. Are you? <laughs> but I hope you're safe, sane, having a good time. But if you're ready, I'm ready. So let's get to it. Happy birthday to you. Oh, that's sad. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> you. Happy. Oh, it's Chloe's birthday. Wow, they are enthusiastic, aren't they? And it's all beat cops and where the other the detectives are still against Chloe. Go, 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 go. Here's Lucifer bringing it in. <laughs> and this wasn't noticed by anybody else in the precinct. Wow. An X-rated office party. Leave it to you to steal my thunder, huh? Well, much as I'd love to take credit for this, Daniel, Officer Snake Hips is not my doing. Snake Hips. Ella. What can I say? Big surprise, little package. Somebody would have had to been on the inside in order to sneak that big ass cake in. <laughs> And she's just got a, a little chemistry set on the table. <gasps> Did something happen to Candy? No, I haven't spoken to her for a few months. Why'd you ask? What happened to Candy? She's missing. Oh, don't worry, buddy. Look, I got more singles for you. Oh, no, no, no. I'm all right for cash. Thank you. Lucifer would not drop singles in a stripper's outfit. Benjamin's all the way. Oh my gosh, I hope she's okay, buddy. Oh, yes, as do I. Candy was caught up in some rather nasty business, but I thought... That's right, that's right, that's right. I'll kill the music. We'll all help find her. I don't want to spoil the detective celebrations. Now, I'll just... I'm Chloe's over to Sin birthday. City ...and check on Candy myself. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm, I kind of have a thing with Vegas. I'll Did he invite you, Ella? <laughs> But then I can tell that it's really important to you, and I do have the next couple of days off, so... Okay, you've convinced me. I will help you. Uh, Please don't tell me you guys got another stripper. Uh, no, he got a... Uh, no, 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 nothing for the birthday girl to worry about. But I want you to focus on one thing only, Detective. That is getting older. No! Leave him yeah, I'll call you later. Wait! <gasps> is this an episode without Chloe? Yeah, it's my birthday. Shake your boots while you still can. Oh, there you go. 
They left Chloe on her birthday. I guess, no, they can't tie when your ex-wife's going to get kidnapped or whatever, go missing. I have to say, I didn't have a good Catholic girl like yourself. Okay, so where is this supposed to be located? So Paris, we're North Strip. Rather, it's someone else's birthday. Or oh. this is an active crime scene. They find candy now. <gasps> candy? Oh, Lucifer. They just let them walk in. They just let them walk in. Hello. Look at those dainty feet. That's not candy then. Without no candy has ginormous feet. That means that this is not candy. But it's still somebody who's been killed. <laughs> Can't they just walk in? They just... Not a fan of the deceased, I'm afraid. Mean, she's just so mean. Oh, you... When... you can see it, you can see it in my head. I'll just... <laughs> we should go. <laughs> Based on a visual assessment of the victim's lividity. Okay, isn't lividity? <laughs> Lividity's part of the liver. You can't see that from just staring at a body. Lightnessly gort. We shouldn't let LVPD know that that's not candy. If this gets back to the killer, he might try to kill her again. Oh. Slightly sound. Slightly sound. I have a feeling I will be talking to both of you again before the investigation's over. I doubt that. I mean, hanging out with a cop in Las Vegas is like bringing your grandma to an orgy. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> As I walked all over the crime scene, I can't help it. So oh, Linda! Nice. Linda, where have you been? Would you like to have a seat? No, no, it's not a big deal. You sure? Please, have a seat. I don't really, you know, I know you're busy and I wanna... But last time he went AWOL, I went up there to check on him and all of his furniture was covered in sheets and he had run off to Vegas. <laughs> of course, that's when we, we were getting together, which we totally are not anymore, nor will we. But, you know, it, it's my birthday. Mm-hmm. Wow. Good couch. I know. It's a magical couch. He's um he's probably just in the penthouse passed out or something. A penthouse in Vegas. I mean any idea who would want her dead? Who did you save her from the favor for? Flashback? Much I love you. Never knew how much I care. When you put your arms around me Solid tune Fever. Psychic bartender, my favorite <laughs> You hold me tight Fever in the Oh, as she steals his wallet <laughs> Nobody else sees her steal his wallet Where's my money? <laughs> and my <laughs> ring. <laughs> Bravo, candy. Emergencies. Emergencies. That's a big wad for an emergency. I thought I dealt with that human stain last time I was here. Yeah. They teach lock picking in forensic class. No, middle school. <laughs> Miss Lopez, you are an enigma wrapped in a hoodie under a jaunty ponytail. <laughs> oh no, the place is ransacked. The annihilation. This decor alone is enough for immediate execution, I mean. Well, uh, looks like someone beat you to the execution part. Wait, this is the Paglignini guy? They were just gonna walk in in this guy's place? Louis? Oh, definitely. They're just... Walking into potential crime scenes? She was here. You think Candy would have killed Louie and then faked her own death to disappear? Ooh, that's an idea. Well, you don't know what she's capable of. <sighs> and why would she go back to Vegas 
after Lucifer gave her a suitcase of cash. If Louis was after Candy's candy, Maybe his old lady found out, shot her, and then frame slash finished off Louis. And we need to find this murderous gin. Your fingerprints all all over evidence. You can't just call her. What are you gonna say? Well, I'm gonna ask her if she's the killer, of course. Now, I'm sorry, I didn't buy any bust. Are you sure? Because I. Oh, whoopsie, whoopsie, my mistake, doll, my mistake. I know exactly out of Roxy all is. the sounds the sound of the Guido's rainbow slot machine in the background of the call. It's There's a more vintage than... machine, and only no. one casino <laughs> in Vegas has it. How did a uh, moonbeam? How long has it been since you've been 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 to Vegas, Ella? Maybe they got put it elsewhere. I know I'm thinking too hard. What are we doing here? We should be celebrating. Yes. So where to? Uh 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 uh. I do know this place with an awesome sound system and all the top shelf you can drink. Would this be Lux? <laughs> Seems a shame to let that sunset go to waste. Mm hmm. Oh, a top of Lux. Got it. Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Is Linda gonna get a little Lucy with the lipsy and. and are there any uh, angel wings stashed somewhere? Let's go take a peek in a sock drawer. Are there angel wings in a sock drawer? Let's do it. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait, is it his or hers? Out of town. Um, uh, where? I know where special. Just Vegas. Vegas? Again? <sighs> Don't you look ravishing. Oh, no. I've got to go, doctor. Speak soon. Bye. Oh no. Um, something about radishes. Well, you are stunning, aren't you? It's especially when you got Lucifer's payroll to pay for it. He didn't say radish. He said ravishing, didn't he? Why why do I even care? Why do I care? This is stupid. Okay, Lucifer and I are friends, partners, that's all. I'm totally past anything romantic. Full on rear view in the past. Okay. Mm hmm. Obviously. There is no expiration date on the process of healing. We should go. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're all not driving. Are you okay? Oh, that was okay. That was a painting from the dude in the season one, right? 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 Oh, that is definitely her. Looks like she's the casino's pit boss. Oh. Pit bosses are notoriously hard to flush out. You Only know this how? Only to are the whales, the serious well. high rollers. A blackjack. More of a poker man myself. No, poker involves bluffing, also known as lying. Something you claim you don't do. Bluffing and lying, two totally different things. So I guess what you're doing with Chloe and the whole not telling her you're in Vegas thing, also not lying. Mm-hmm. So let's uh, get you at the table. What, me? What about you? Best I just watch. Oh, is she on known card counter? <laughs> nice. You have an 11. Double down. Double down. Oh, doubling down. Doubling down. My money. My money. Okay, what's your name? Mm. Oh, that is perfect. Right. Or was she a uh, 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 like uh, you to focus on the game? You just got two aces. <laughs> Gambling <laughs> addict. Maybe you would like to split. <laughs> what sort of casino back room is this anyway? I mean, where's the dangling light bulb and the blood stained floor? Where's Joe <laughs> Pesci? Ooh, she kept her name. Very few people can count cards like you, Miss Lopez. Count cards? I want to say counting cards. She got dealt two aces. You're going to split them. If banning you from the casino didn't work, maybe I should call your new friends at the LAPD. And you know, while you're at it, why don't you tell them about your crimes? Yes, j'accuse. First of all, of mixing Corinthian and Doric columns in your McMansion, I mean. And secondly, of killing your husband and who you thought was his mistress. Louis dead. Yes, Louis dead, savagely murdered by you. <laughs> 
Very well, Roxy. If you didn't want Louis dead, then tell me, what do you want? I want the pro golfer on table four. Bad. Damn it, 666 didn't work either. <laughs> Try 8008. 8008? Spells boob. <laughs> I mean, radish is code for help. Yes. The tie on Linda. Hilarious. Maybe you two just had too much to drink. <gasps> when did he show up? Which is why you hold my ass out here. Does that mean oh. you're not gonna help us? I didn't say oh. that. Oh. 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 They wouldn't call him in a deal to say, do you know the code? If we wanted to get him involved. Everyone has stuff that they want to avoid. You know, like like the way you are avoiding Chloe. Uh, the detective, I'm protecting her. Uh, you're protecting her or you're protecting yourself? Yes. Hello, Candy. <gasps> My thieving vixen. You're welcome to keep the cash. Goodness knows where you've hidden that. <laughs> Seriously? My dad died recently, and he used to own the club I was singing at. We owe this enormous amount of cash to the super scary loan shark. If I don't come up with 300 grand like now, Louis gonna take it. That might half be true. Bravo. You really are quite the performer, aren't you? No. I actually felt bad. From the looks of you at the bar, you got your own problems to deal with. Nothing I can't handle on my own. You sure about that? And so... <laughs> wow. The part about your dad putting the detective in your path is kind of fuzzy. Did he tell her everything, everything? Or possibly everything? Or does she believe him or not? And he still had his devil face, right? I just want to do right by her. I believe you. Yeah, swap. <sighs> Chocolate mint ice cream and that looks like a Chardonnay does not, mm-mm. I might pretend to be someone a little less threatening sometimes, but I don't lie. I call it bluffing. Totally different thing. Ah. I'll pay off your debt. If you don't mind doing a little bluffing for me. <laughs> I loved how he straightened it instead of took Man. it off. <laughs> and so we got married. The end. They didn't just pretend to be married, which could have possibly been easier. Don't Excuse me. me. Candy. What are you doing here? You're going to ruin everything. And I hate to disappoint, but Roxy Pagliani did not kill your lookalike. Allie. She broke up with her boyfriend, so I said she could stay with me. Oh. I was just trying to be a good friend. Oh, man. I'm so sorry. Why is she still... Who... This has nothing to do with passion. The killer wants my father's club. Oh. After I found Allie dead, I noticed there was only one thing missing from my apartment. The pocket deed for Fletcher's. Whoever possesses the deed owns the club. It was used as collateral when my dad borrowed money from Louie. A pocket deed? That's... <laughs> Who else could have known about that deed? The bartender! Candy's still my wife. Legally, anyway. Which means Fletcher's now goes to the grieving widower. Me! Yeah, but... That makes you the killer's next target. <laughs> oh, well, I certainly hope so. Until Chloe and Linda show up and makes him vulnerable. That was quick. <laughs> At times you have. <laughs> A very young lady like way of running out. <laughs> but not tonight. Good <laughs> evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lucifer Morningstar, new owner here of Fletcher's. That's right, owner. Oh, there's Ella. For the Morning Stars. The Morning Stars. <laughs> But if you've ever been a lady to begin 
It's <laughs> a good try. You tried dancing with a 22 strap to your thigh. With what? An hour notice? Clear. The only thing he cares about are the complimentary crab legs. Ooh, ooh, no, no on the complimentary crab legs in Vegas. I'm here all night. No, seriously, all night. Whoops, hasn't <gasps> it worked? I think that is celestially protected. I've had a lot of experience with giant holes and walls. Hmm. Little spackle and you're good to go. Well, yes, it's a good she thing did. I come packing. Came packing spackle? Of course. I'll be right back. Okay. There are things about Lucifer that I will never understand. And B, spackle's not gonna help the Assyrian antique wall. <laughs> she knew what that was. You know, Lucifer is a non traditional guy, and he celebrates in non-traditional ways right like going to vegas with some radish she she saw him leave with ella that's fine it's fine i just hate that i sound jealous because i'm not i'm not jealous i'm not i just um so jealous he's just my friend you know what did i tell you i am the man that is the tiniest little tub of spackle But, but this place is mine. Mm -hmm. But I do need to tell you. Oh, I do need to tell you. Is he catching the bullets? Where are they going? You can't kill me. You may as well just hand yourself in now. But I just shot you. Yes, I know. It's perplexing, isn't it, Juddy? Judd? <gasps> How could you? Oh, the mirrors. Nice touch. What the hell is happening to me? Oh, was that? Who are you talking to? You can't see her. Oh. Oh, good one, Lucifer. A brother to me. I was gambling again. I was drowning in debt. <laughs> Why didn't you just tell me you needed money? Because you don't have any. <laughs> this place is worth crap. It's the land that's worth millions. I tried to get your dad to sell, and I knew you wouldn't either. <laughs> yes, I did. He also kill her father. That's it, Johnny. Go on. <gasps> <gasps> oh, could you go, Lilla? So is Lucifer's devil face gone for good or only in front of Chloe? Because I don't think we've seen him try to do it again. I just want to say thank you for saving my ass. Again. Again. As much as I'd love to, once Lola over there finishes <laughs> flirting, we need to get back to LA. <laughs> Whatever happened with the detective? Messing up yet? Mm-hmm. Have we ever got this far? <laughs> have a little overnight back. Are they still there? <laughs> Are they all there? <laughs> so it's gone on her glasses. I'm not exactly sure what you're all doing here, but I imagine it's something to do with the fact that I wasn't. <laughs> Went to Las Vegas. Last time I went on a Vegas jaunt, there were some very unpleasant feelings involved. For she faking sleeping. But I've come to realize that perhaps bluffing is the same as lying, and that's, as you know, something I never want to do. Especially to you. Bluff now, Chloe, stay asleep. Hello. <laughs> How's that spackle job there, Dan? Oh, perfect timing. <gasps> Birthday gift. Forgive my tidiness, but I thought it prudent to deliver your gift in private. What could it possibly be? It's beautiful. Yeah, what is it? It's the bullet <gasps> from when you shot me. Remember in the warehouse early in our partnership? Wow. Wow. Well, I thought since I never likely penetrate you, I'd commemorate the one time you penetrated me. <laughs> wow. Happy birthday, detective. Wow. <laughs> the 
Asimerian walls. <laughs> I was going to say, was that a fun episode? It was a fun, I guess it was a fun episode. Odd that they did have Chloe and Lucifer separated and that we had this side story with Ella and we got to know more about Ella. I'm interested in seeing where those little tidbits we heard about her or learned about her come into play in the future. We got to see Linda again. Finally, where's she been? I thought for sure she was going to reveal more secrets. That's some pretty damn good scotch and whiskey they had. But she kept tight on those secrets. So my brain starts to go, because it's always going, about how long are we going to stretch out the Chloe Lucifer thing? It did happen a little too early, especially knowing that there's six seasons. You can't put them together too soon. You might break the sexual tension. You have to find other ways to keep them exciting. Yada, yada, buzzword, buzzwords. But I want somebody else to learn about Lucifer being a Lucifer. But who's left? We got Ella, Dan, and Chloe are the ones left to find out. But I want that to keep going. And we got a lot more to season three to go. A lot more episodes. So... The timing, I don't know, but I want somebody else to know. It would just make it more interesting, or at least more fun. Just somebody else in on the secret. And I'm looking at the screen because I'm trying to think of what else is going through my head. And the little thumbnail they're showing of Ella with the end of the world behind her makes me think she starts catching on with some stuff. I know, I wish they kept the thumbnails to like episodes one and two of the whole series and not put in later ones so they don't give things away. But can you say an episode is fun when you had people shot? <laughs> it brings... <laughs> can you? Can you? And the bartender got one off on the loan shark guy. Huh. Huh. <laughs> so it was fun, even though it made me go, that's not... That's not how any of this works. <laughs> Still fun. So there we go. Episode 6, Vegas with some radish. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. And please do not be strangers. Come back again soon after you stand up. Try to touch your toes. Do some neck rolls. Grab your water. And then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all. And until next time.